Welcome back to another video. I'm Tim Chatton, the host of the iWake Podcast, the daily Apple News show that you can find on iWakePodcast.com. And I thank you for joining me today. Uh, this video today, I will be demonstrating how to get set up with iTunes to sell your iBook through the iTunes iBook store. So the first step is to actually, as you can see on the screen here, to actually write a book. You're going to actually need content to sell if you want to sell something. So I've got a book, not entirely written, but something to start with. Uh, you know, to, to get started here, uh, the first thing, the first step you want to do is hit publish. And you want to do this before you even are faced with your book to, to actually get set up with the iBook store. Uh, I think it's a great idea to actually get an account set up and be ready to go when you want to start selling your book. The first time you launch this, it will actually prompt you to actually load up this website where you'll be getting set up with the iBook store. I've already gone through that, so it's not there anymore. So what I'll do is go to the website where it's actually at. And that is right over here. You'll be taken to this website at itunesconnect.apple.com to set up your book. And that's linked through in the iBooks author app. Another way to get to that is simply by going to apple.com slash iTunes slash sell content. Before we get to all that and how you actually get set up with iTunes Connect and selling your iBook, some things just to mention. With the iBook store, you will you will need an ISBN number. You get that at myidentifiers.com slash ISBN slash main. And they start at $125 for a single, for 10 ISBNs, $250 and upwards from there. So you do need that. It's kind of pricey, but needed. And hopefully you'll make that money back with your book sales. So that's how you do it. You do it through Balker is what's that's all done through that. So don't go through any illegitimate places you can get scammed i'm sure they're out there so do it at the official place so you don't lose your money there secondly if you are a developer or if you sell content outside of the ibook store through apple you will need a new apple id you can only have one apple id per per account where you want to sell stuff so if you're a developer already create a new apple id just for the ibook store to sell your content you can do that by going to apple id.apple.com and right there you can create a brand new apple id with that said now you can finally go into the create your account for ibooks author there's two accounts two different types of accounts there's paid books account and a free books account free books account is less hassle but you won't get the you know, make money with it. You can set up a free book account and there you won't need your tax information and you won't need all this other information. For most of you, I'm assuming you'll want to do a paid account. So let's kind of take you through that process. The paid account, it's fairly simple. Individuals can do it. I've done it and it's pretty easy to do. So let me log in here and just get started. And the first page of this account is simply requirements. What requirements does Apple have for you to do this? You need a Mac, you need you know, at least a gig of RAM, which is easy enough. And, you know, just basic stuff, ISBNs for your books. You need to have appropriate file format, which iBooks Author takes care of. U.S. tax ID, meaning you need a social security number or some sort of uh, number that Apple can use for that. Valid iTunes store account with credit card on file. All sorts of just little other things that most people should have no problem. Uh, next step is simply entering your first name, last name, Apple ID, password. Simple stuff. Everyone should be able to make it through that. So let me just enter some information here. The next step after entering your name and Apple ID is to simply go through some basic information about you, about the seller, which includes your legal name, your tax ID number, uh, your physical address, your territory rights, if you want to sell this content, uh, pretty much what, what areas, worldwide, Canada, Japan, vice versa. So that's all that is done right there. The final page for your application for the iBook store is simply if you have books and book titles, enter those up top and then just give Apple some information about what you expect to be providing to the store. Number of titles of active print catalog, number of titles with digital rights, all kinds of stuff like that. So they know what to expect from you. And then you simply agree to their terms and certify that that's uh, complete and accurate and you're not lying to Apple. And they continue and then it is sent to Apple for review. It typically takes about one to two weeks for your application from being submitted to being accepted. And I've done this myself. I've gone through these steps. And I was accepted without any books already written and all that kind of stuff. And it was fairly simple. You know, I was able to do it without a business, uh, EIN, or anything like that. It was all done through a personal account. And I'm excited to start selling books through the iBookstore. And there's some cool benefits once you actually get, a, get into the store. 
Uh, there's things like you know a v- VIP store where you're actually able to get discounts on Apple products. Uh, two Macs a year at considerable discounts. You can get a MacBook Air for eight hundred dollars and get some of the Mac Pros for literally two grand off on some of the higher end systems. Uh, big discounts there. Uh, so it's a great VIP store that you have access to by becoming a partner with Apple. So uh, lots of cool stuff there, and I'll be doing more videos about this whole iBooks author and how selling content works and uh, in the future. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. You can find more uh, content over at my website, iWakePodcast.com. That's where I do my daily Apple News show. And I also do a video blog where I kind of aggregate some of my favorite videos I do for YouTube and that others do as well. So check it out at iWakePodcast.com. Thanks for watching.